like what is watercolor pencil right so if you've ever taken a watercolor class it comes in like little tubes but when you were little watercolor came in like you know the Crayola grid of colors so imagine that Crayola grid <laughs> that one of those colors was shaped like a pencil like that's what a water watercolor pencil is it's just watercolor in the shape of a pencil so if I draw my head here and then I simply take water and then I add it to it I can do almost anything I want like I would do with a regular watercolor you just have to get it wet enough you can sketch something with watercolor pencil and add water to it and then it turns into watercolor paint that you can mess with and do whatever you want with. It's pretty cool stuff. Just wanted to show you, you can do different colors too. And when they're wet, you can blend them together. Right. This other thing I wanted to show you is when I'm working on an acrylic painting over another painting, which is common. Let's pretend this is my first painting, but I want to do a painting over it. This is a great use of watercolor pencils right here because I can do my sketch. Okay, can you see the circle? Right? Oh man, I didn't want to do a circle. I wish I had done a square. Well, it's watercolor pencils, so I don't need to get an eraser. Right? So say goodbye to ever having to erase a sketch on an acrylic painting ever again. If you like to paint over paintings like I do. Here's another cool thing watercolor pencils do. Acrylic paint picks up watercolor pencils. So here I go again. I have my head and I have my acrylic paint. And I have a round brush. So once I have my paint, and I'm painting next to watercolor pencil, watch what happens. Can you see how it picks up the color? Like, I'll just go over it so you can see. See how it picks up the watercolor pencil? This is just yellow paint with a red watercolor pencil. If I get the brush wet, I can even change how the sketch looks. So I could sketch on gesso, I could sketch on acrylic paint, I can sketch on a lot of things with watercolor pencil and get my idea in there without being totally stuck with the design, like with pencil or Sharpie. Now if I wanted to erase this watercolor pencil, it probably won't work all the way if it's just white underneath it really really rubs off on paint okay but like if I wanted to change this let's see if it'll come off maybe it will I don't like my sketch I want to redo it okay it does leave a little ghost of it there right so that's something to think about if you're on a white plain canvas taking both of those things into mind the fact that you just activate the watercolor pencil with water or paint and I want to do a sketch over this acrylic painting when you're when you're going over acrylic paint with a watercolor pencil and then you use acrylic paint it picks the color up so you can see right there that my my yellow paint has picked up so much watercolor pencil that I can make red or orange out of it so think about that if you wanted to do some like freestyle shading you like just pulling in highlights or midtones or something you can you can get a lot going on over acrylic paintings with these watercolor pencils to get ideas in there and also to inject color into your acrylic paint how cool is that one more thing that I think is cool you can take your pencil sharpener 
and you don't need a palette. <laughs> you can drop enough water on here. I know it's kind of crazy thinking and feeling, but here, you get enough watercolor pencil on there, boom, you have a palette. Now I can paint a picture over here. So that's a pretty cool thing about watercolor pencils. If you shave a bunch of them out onto something, you basically have like a on-the-fly art palette because all you have to do is add water to it. You can get your ideas in there. 